Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation and today we're doing front door speakers on this 2020 Toyota RAV4. In this install, we're gonna show you how to remove the factory door panel, remove the speaker, head over the bench, get all our new component speakers wired up and get everything reinstalled. This install will include both the door speaker as well as the tweeter up in the dash. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is remove there's three screws and the VIN clips remaining on the door holding everything together. There's a screw Phillips here and then there's two Phillips inside of this. Now, what's easiest for me to actually get into this is a pick tool and a panel tool. And first, if we get the panel tool, get the pick tool right in here, whoop, it pops right on out. There's just a little cover that covers this little Phillips. And then using your panel tool, Kind of get up in here. Just maybe get started. You get your little pick tool in there just to get a little bite on it. Then we will slowly pop this on out. Just like so. Now there is a little hook on this end. So kind of keep that in mind. You got to start from the top to make this work. And so those are all removed. Go ahead and do the three screws. Okay, once the three screws are removed, basically everything is just held on with clips. Okay, so then we'll pull this back. Now you can actually just pull on your handles. They should come on out and then disconnect your harnesses. Basically you push in the tab and they come on free, just like that. Okay, so now as we look at the speaker, unfortunately for this body style RAV4, rather than using their 10 millimeter that they've used for years, they decided to rivet the speakers in, which is super annoying. So we need to drill out these three rivets so we can remove the speaker. You can disconnect your harness, just like so. Once the speaker is removed, we'll head over the bench and prep our new speaker. Okay, so once three uh, rivets have been drilled out, go ahead and just work on the speaker. Should come on free. So now let's head to the bench and show you the parts we need. Okay, so some of the parts for the mid-range speaker in the door, whether you replace the mid-range factory speaker with a coaxial or a component, this is just a mid-range because we will be doing a tweeter, which we'll show you the parts here in a minute. But for just the door, you'll need a pair of door brackets for both the passenger and the driver's side the Metro 82-8148 for six and a half inch speakers. They come like this. It does accommodate a five and a quarter, but if you don't have a five and a quarter, you can break these tabs off here in the center, which we're gonna do. And for the wiring harness adapter, you need the Metro 72-8109, and that'll plug directly into the speaker and into the factory plug itself. So what we need to do, like I said, is we need to break these tabs off here in the center so we can prep this for the door. Now we can't actually get this all bolted up now. We need to go to the door since it had rivets and not bolts, we need to replace the hardware. So the hardware that we have that came with this kit, we have three nuts, um, six washers and three bolts that we'll put in its place.
Okay, so we got that all mounted. We used washers front and back, got everything tightened down, got our speaker wire wiring harness all hooked up. We'll do a quick test to make sure the speaker works, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the door panel back on. Okay, so the door speaker's all good to go. Um, all we need to do now is head up to the dash area and start working on the tweeter. All right, so for the tweeter, the parts that we're gonna need to replace the tweeter before we pull it out here is we've created a bracket out of ABS plastic. You can also search on Amazon for similar shaped brackets here. We'll post a link down in the description of one that would fit your vehicle. And we also have um, a tweeter that came with our component set with our mid-range uh, speaker we've already put in the door. So now plain type our tweeter, as well as the crossover that goes specifically with that tweeter. Now to make sure it plugs directly into the factory harness, we picked up these Red Wolf wiring harness adapters. Um, it's the X0025S4U43. Um, we can also put the information down in the description here, but this will plug into the tweeter harness and wire up to our tweeter. So we'll put our crossover here and then hook our speaker to the crossover. Now keep in mind, it's super important if you do remove the tweeter, the way Toyota wires or factory speakers is it goes through the tweeter from the radio before it goes to the door. So if you unplug your tweeter, you're gonna lose your door speaker. So it's super important for you to retain this harness to make sure it's working properly. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna take this end off. We're actually gonna cut it because it's not gonna plug directly into a speaker, um, but we'll cut this end off. We're gonna wire it into our crossover and uh, get everything soldered up. What we've done here is we cut the ends off here to just shorten that up. And then we wire those leads directly to our crossover to the input side. So that'll plug into the harness, goes into our crossover. And then there was so much extra wire, we actually cut most of this wire out since it's such a short run and then soldered the tweeter back in. Um, and then what we'll do after we've soldered everything is we're gonna move our heat shrink up and over that connection and shrink it down with the heat gun. Same thing on this side. And really that's it. So we'll head over to the car, remove the factory tweeter and plug this one in its place. All right, so we have a panel tool here. We have our speaker grill here and you can just start on the edge and just pop it on up. It's held in with clips there. Just like so. Then you'll see two 10 millimeter bolts holding in the tweeter. go ahead and pull your tweeter out but the, the harness is super short so you want to go ahead and disconnect that harness and then our harness is going to plug into its place okay so with that harness disconnected our harness will plug right in its place then we will bolt our tweeter down using the same screws right in the same location Okay, so we plugged it in and bolted it up. Fits in that nice location, great. Um, at this time, we'll do a test and then we'll put the cover back over the tweeter. That's about it for this install. If you have any questions on what we did here, post a comment below. We went ahead and replaced both the door speaker as well as the dash tweeter. Hit that like button, be sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next video.